We're on the right rear side of our machine, and we're going to talk about stationary knife adjustment on our Mav Chopper for our Lexion 700 Series Combine. Here you can see our stationary knives. We have locking bolts here on both sides. We want to loosen up these locking bolts with a size 24 millimeter wrench on both the right and the left side. Now we can move the knives in or out. In the out position, we're going to be in corn. In the engage position, where the knives are closer to the chopper drum, we're going to run in soybeans and small grain applications. Now we're going to talk about the tailboard position on our turbo chop for a Lexion 700 series combine. The tailboard has two positions in which it can be ran. Chopping, what you see here, and swathing. Chopping position, we're going to send everything through the chopper and the radial spreaders. In the swathing, we're going to dump everything out the back of the separation system, and it's not going to go through the spreaders. Now in the chopping position, we have four different positions in which it can be ran. The lower we go with our tailboard in the chopping position, the more wide we're going to have with our spread pattern. The higher we go with the tailboard, the more narrow it's going to be. Now we're going to go from chopping to swathing position. To do so, we come here, loosen up our handle, lift up on our tailboard, and then drop our tailboard to the lowest position. This is going to be what we call the swathing position. Next, we want to come here and open up our rear chopper door. Loosen up the handle the same way. Fold that all the way forward. Tighten up our handle. This is also going to disengage our chopping drum. Lastly, we want to shut off the hydraulics to our radial spreaders. We do so with this hydraulic ball valve. Simply just turn the ball valve and it shuts off our spreaders. Here we're going to talk about stationary knife adjustment on our turbo chop for a Lexion 700 series combine. I'm on the left side of the machine here, and we have two positions in which our stationary knives can be ran. Disengaged, away from the chopper drum, and engaged, closer to the chopper drum. We have an indicator here letting us know which position it's in. We have two bolts, one on the outside of the chopper housing, and one on the inside. Size 24 on the outside, 18 on the inside. We loosen both of those on both sides of the machine, and then we can adjust our chopper knives. We also have a handle on the front side of the housing. We fold that handle out and either press up or pull down on the stationary knives. Now the knives are disengaged or away from the chopper. Run the knives disengaged for corn and engaged for soybeans and all small grains.